Hello everyone and welcome back to Blitz Brigade where I am finally going to be able to do an honest attempt with the Treat Dispenser. For so long I was having such a hard time finding this weapon. I don't know if it wasn't here. Oh no, it was here. I just missed out on it for a little while. But it's back. I bought it. It was it was expensive. It was like a thousand something something gems. And I've decided to opt out of a hat this time around because I found that the the negative health was a bit too much last time, and I'd like to see what the hat, what the, excuse me, what the weapon can do without the hat's bonus damage. So let's hop into a game. And while this game is loading up, I would like to briefly touch on Gods of Rome and the state of it, and the fact that uh, a lot of people enjoyed the videos themselves, which I really appreciate you saying, by the way. Really does make me feel good when you guys say that you enjoyed the videos. Let's me know what to do in the future. And I'm just happy to know that you enjoy what you're watching. It makes me bring it makes me really happy. But for actual Gods of Rome, people said that they didn't like the game very much, so I don't think I'm going to be doing any more videos on Gods of Rome. I appreciate you guys watching the video, giving me feedback, letting me know what you think on it. Please feel free to do that in the future. And uh, so I don't think I'll be doing any more Gods of Rome on the channel unless explicitly asked for by a whole bunch of people. So I might just go ahead and delete it because usually I delete games off my phone if I either I won't play them on my own or if they won't be uh, recorded. I have a lot of games on my phone that I play on my own time, but I tend to not play games that require a whole lot of battery life. I'm realizing now that I'm just running around the map, not really doing anything. Anyway, now that we've touched on that, let's take a look at the treat dispenser. So first off, as any video should start... Oh, look at that, it fires blue. It's kind of neat. But let's check out that reload animation. Wow, that is very slow, even even though I've got the fully leveled up reload reload uh, speed on the soldier here. That's actually why I use the soldier for these videos, because of that enhanced reload speed. Is there anyone to even find in this game? I guess there's one person. While I'm on the hunt for this one guy, I guess I might as well just pick up this box. I found the nebula! There was a time where the nebula would show up in every single Honest Attempt videos. Do you guys remember that? I remember that very clearly. Before I decided to actually do an Honest Attempt on the weapon, before I even found the weapon, more precisely, I was dec I decided that I was just going to play Blitz Brigade, because I hadn't played Blitz Brigade in a long time. Usually now I just do it uh, do it in Honest Attempt form. I don't really do the, the plays anymore, the Let's Plays. So I might do that sometime in the future. Okay, well I can't find this guy for the life of me. Time to go to the main menu and find another game. Yeah! And this time I've decided to go for Madagascar Ruins because <laughs> Malta Docks is strangely empty. Even though I've I assumed for a very long time that it was everybody's favorite map, but that's just because it's my favorite map, <laughs> which is very not the truth, considering how much play it's been getting these these uh, these last few days. Oh my god, this thing is- they, bear in mind that I'm using no enhanced damage besides my actual uh, primary bonus damage from my skill tree. There's somebody behind me! Oh, but I didn't- I didn't want to turn around, because I figure if I turned around and backstepped, then that would give him an even bigger opportunity to kill me. Let's try that one more time. Oh no. The bullet spread on this thing is not that bad. Like, the only thing that I could even think about complaining about would be would be the slow fire rate. But even then, like, I'm going to go ahead and use an invincibility tonic right here. Oh, he's still right there. Oh, my God, he thought he left. He's so fast. Was that? Oh, no. The nebula, get out of here. <laughs> the ne oh, constantly, constant nebula. I feel like I'm in a duel with this guy, except he just left. I think he got bored. Wow, this is the first this is the first gun that might actually curb my habit of reloading immediately after a gunfight or after firing like one bullet. When you when you start reloading this weapon, you have to commit to it. You really do. So far I like it. The damage output is fantastic. It's just it doesn't fire that many rounds rounds per minute. I think the round per minute is somewhere around a fine like 180. I was, I was gonna say I could just stand here and take this guy down. I don't I don't really have to go anywhere. Spray a little down there. Kill five players without dying. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh no. 
use the invincibility tonic. I'm gonna try to start using these more often because I rarely use them ever. Oh no. Can you go ahead and Oh my heal my my medic's healing me. That's really cool. I don't see that very often. What is this shaking? What is this shaking on the screen right now? Is it just explosions? If there's a sound accompanying it, I can't hear it because I actually played this game muted uh, when I uh, when I record. Fun facts. Not exactly, I guess not exactly muted muted, but very, very quietly to the point where hearing it does not really benefit me. There I go. I was out of ammo anyway. Okay, so this, so this gun, this gun is something special. This is a very good gun. If you have the diamonds for it, I'd say go ahead and grab it, because I, it kills anything in, from what I've seen so far, two hits. Granted, I do have a bonus 8% to my damage output on my primary weapon because I'm a soldier, and my skill tree is pretty high up there. And thus we continue the Cleaning House Chronicles. Oh no, there's- I'm gonna get killed by splash damage if I stay there. <laughs> I'm like, what- what do you mean a cannon? And then I realized that guy across from me was using a cannon. Oh no. Oh, be careful. Be careful. And I'm speaking to me when I say that. Because reloading, reloading is suddenly a much bigger deal than it was, than it was before this video. Yeah, I would be very inclined to use this gun more often than even, say, the hooligan. Uh oh Oops, I reloaded, that was an accident. <laughs> I need to run back and respawn really quick. Cause I don't wanna keep I don't wanna keep using all my, my health potions. Oh it continues the kill streak. You know what? I never even thought to try that before. Oh, I just barely got through that. Okay, one more respawn. Let's go run back. Oh never mind. I guess Swish sort of, uh, he sort of helped us with that one. He sort of got me there a little faster than having to run all the way back to my base. Wow, they were still really good. That was an on-point team. So we're gonna go ahead and do one more game before I give this guy a solid rating, but right now it is sitting at a fine... I'll wait until the end to tell you what I think of it. I really, really do like this weapon. It's just the fire rate and the long reload animation that, uh, that would make me even consider giving it below a 9 out of 9 full wars. So I think tentative score is going to be 8 out of 9 full wars. Just because of that low fire rate, coupled with the, the very slow- oh my god, Nebula. You made so many appearances in this video. Oh my, I accidentally moved the screen instead of the control stick there. Coupled with the long reload animation, it's just- it's it's crazy how how much if you if you don't have cover you are so vulnerable. Oh, it's, oh my goodness! I'm, it's like I'm tired or something. I am exhausted. I actually just woke up about uh, 20 minutes ago. So I've been up for a pretty long time. I have no excuse to be this tired, but and yet here I am. Happy New Year's, by the way, everyone. How did you spend your New Year's? Let me know in the comments section. I spent mine at a friend's house. Uh, celebrated East Coast New Year's at 9 p.m. Came home quickly, uh, had a Smash tournament as well as a, as well as a Hearthstone tournament. It was really fun. Oh, that was my hundred of death with the soldier since the reset. Ooh, ooh, getting some, getting some dropped frames right now on the recording. Just gonna give it a second. Hundred crate pickups. Man, I got my hundredth jump earlier too. Guess I don't jump that often if I'm getting the hundredth jump with everything else too. The tree dispenser is definitely climbing the ranks to becoming one of my favorite weapons. I think that's the first time it's happened in a in an honest attempt video. Granted, that happened with the TOD23 and the uh, the Red Devil, but the Demolisher has since been normalized, so they are not quite as amazing as they once were. So I should say that this is the only 
permanent realization, at least for the near future, but normally, uh, normally weapons from holiday updates, special events in the Oak, don't really get normalized. Usually they stay at however they're supposed to be, especially when you pay, like, nearly, almost, it was closer to 2,000 diamonds for a treat dispenser, which is crazy. Alright, so it looks like we are nearing the end of the match, so I'm going to go ahead and confirm the fact that this gun is going to get 8 out of 9 Fulgores. Revenge. The only reason that it lost a point is is because of the long reload animation and the slow fire rate. It makes you vulnerable is- oh my, oh my, I keep doing that, I keep missing the virtual stick. It makes you super vulnerable when you run out of stuff in the clip. See what I'm talking about? I'm committed, I need to get better at reload cancelling in this game. Oh, I keep missing it! It's the third time this video! You wanna talk about stuff that makes you vulnerable? Let's talk about missing the virtual stick and accidentally turning the camera. All right, everyone. So just to confirm, if any, if you guys have enough to get the to get the treat dispenser, I highly recommend it. It is a fantastic gun. Thank you all so much for watching, and have an awesome day. Bye bye.